Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. Well, on this one, we're taking a look at a geothermal system. This is our incoming water. It goes over here and it comes up to this uh, solenoid. Obviously, the water piping is professionally installed. Really is kind of depressing. And it goes over here. This is our downstairs package unit. Ducting. Looks like it was. It could have been supported a little bit better around here, but we won't uh, call any names on it yet. I'm going to find my way around, see if we can find that condenser. Here is the condenser for the second floor split um, see if I can find a model number on it we got a Florida heat pump water lines water in on the bottom water out on the top and this is our water line for the incoming right yeah I'm not sure how that's supposed to work I don't know if you guys can tell but the in and out come in together here he said that this was incoming water which has a shutoff valve on it which goes to this side of the shutoff valve goes to water in and that pipe right here is water out that is very odd and then over here we've got another water line with in and out right here that valve is partially closed this valves wide open and that valves completely closed I'm quite confused. How can you have in and out on the same line? How can you have in and out on the same line? This is a Geologix by Comfort Air. got a de-superheater on it it's kind of nice and downstairs we have a four ton package unit get a picture of that model and cereal um, and then the upstairs Florida heat pump is a two ton two ton it's a GT026 alright so I guess I'm going to double check that water line stuff because that's terribly confusing they're all all connected in and out to the same piping this valve here is inlet water loop that line is outlet water loop we got a shut off here which separates the two but over here we've got I don't know in or out let me double check in water is the red line so we've got inlet water here outlet water here and that comes over and runs over here so yeah water for the outlet off of the package unit runs in to the split unit that can't be right I, I know it's not right 
you shouldn't have outlet off of one condenser feeding inlet on another condenser for sure I mean that's just ludicrous so let me see what that other water line does okay so this solenoid flow is outlet solenoid so this water piping is actually outlet and this water piping right here is our inlet off of the water feed from the well so this is out that is in so if we go back just to confirm water comes in here goes through that red hose through that condenser which then comes out of the condenser here down around and in to this condenser and then out on that condenser that is way wrong <sighs> that'll be a fun one to fix I think they should have two two solenoids one for each unit because right now water runs through both condensers which is fine when either one is running but when the downstairs package unit runs and then the upstairs pack split needs to operate you have hotter inlet water because it's already coming off of the other compressor running into the split system that's not right I'm gonna head upstairs and take a look at the air handler on the split Well, that sounds choice. We'll tie into the suction line temperature. We'll set up the T2 on the suction line temperature as outdoor ambient. Change that to R22. Well, that's not good. I'm going to manually input the measurement for return air um, at 77 dry bulb. That's what the thermostat said. I'd say we probably have a TXV issue. So, right now our outdoor ambient is 62.6 or our incoming water is 62.6. I'm gonna have him turn on the uh, heat pump downstairs and uh, uh, see what our incoming water does at that point. The other unit should be coming on here in a little bit. It just fired up. Sixty six. Seventy point seven. Look at our head pressure.
All right, I think that's probably enough for now. I don't think it's a good idea to uh, have that incoming water on this split unit feeding off of the outlet water on the other unit. We're going to consider the repair options and system uh, adjustments with the water lines and everything and if we go back for additional interesting work I'll bring you along for the ride thanks for watching like subscribe comment and share and we'll see you on the next video peace Cold, cold night